Darren, the points are shared here. What, what are your thoughts on that one? Um, bit of a broken record, aren't I? I think, you know, we've on the, uh, our general play was OK. Um, we had enough... We had enough ball, we had enough attacking opportunities. Um, just just lacking that firepower, aren't we? Um, which is really frustrating. Um, but, you know, great character to come from behind, uh, having gone gone behind on two occasions, so great character to come back. The first goal was, was a wonderful goal by Jack Taylor, and I thought he was outstanding today. Um, but you know what? You know, and people know me well enough now, I, I, I'll speak the truth and I'll be honest. Um, our front three weren't good enough in the last 15, 20 minutes, which is why... They probably looked the most likely. Um, ball kept coming back off of uh, Jack, Efron and, and Simeon. Not good enough, not good enough. Um, so we couldn't really build anything. We then became the counter-attacking team and our pass selections and choices weren't good enough. Um, but do you know what? With what I've had available because of injuries, I suppose I'll take the positive out of Sparksy playing left back, Harry Taylor again playing centre half. I've had I've got two defenders on the pitch. Um, but listen, I'm always gutted when we when we don't perform to our capabilities and we don't take three points. It's it's two home games that I, I wanted to take at least. I'd have probably have taken four. Um, but really deep down wanted six, so I'm I'm gutted we've only taken one. Is it frustrating the manner that we conceded the goals today so early in each half? Um, listen, anyone who tell you in football one straight pass like that that leads to a goal is just poor all round. We didn't press hard enough at the front um, and we're standing like mannequins at the back uh, and, and one straight ball puts them in. And it's not... I mean, I would normally say that you don't see that. It, it's very rare that ha- that happens. But then our one straight ball led to the penalty. So it's it's... Maybe two bits of poor defending from both sides that led to goals today. Um, and obviously, you know, to concede from across, we didn't start the game great first few minutes. Um, but our response to going behind on, on two occasions was really good. Maybe either team could have nicked it. Lochi's made a great save at the death um, to, to make it a point each. But just disappointed we haven't gone on and won the game so just a word on Scott Loach I mean it's fair to say things could have been a lot worse without the big man in goal there he's been brilliant and this is this is what I will say to people is you know I'm, I'm happy I had a gut feeling about Lochi that he would make us better um, and it was a no brainer to me same with Dunny and I need that feeling again with a forward um, and I know I've been in discussion with people we are looking we are looking for the right type that's going to make us better. Um, I've been in for several. hasn't quite happened for whatever reason. But we continue to look because it's the final piece that, will be, that I believe will take us to the next level. And just finally, a quick word on Jack Taylor who pulled on a Barnett shirt for the 100th time this afternoon and he scored a cracking goal to go with it. Yeah, I thought he was excellent. His passing was, was outstanding. His energy levels, it's a wonderful goal. Great bit of skill. I thought it was a real threat for us today, but to play 100 games by the age of 20 is, is credit to him. Just shows that, you know, over time he's just improving and getting better. Um, he's got a big future in front of him, so credit to him. He was outstanding today.